In this episode, we are going to be looking at how you can use the Tech Pack Mod Pack to automate your farming. And it's very basic. All you gotta do is build yourself a harvester. Um, you probably want a pusher, some pipes, and some place to put your stuff. So we have the harvester here. This is doing a radius of six nodes. We can go as small as four and as large as 16. I'm gonna leave it at six. Uh, it runs on biofuel and you just punch the button for it to start. And we will see here the info text has updated to say it is running. And this scans, I'm not sure in what pattern exactly, but one node every four seconds and any harvestable nodes will be harvested. And then the pusher will pull the item out of here, push it through the tubes and into this chest. So here I am just using wheat from my test game, but it should work with pretty much any farming mod in my experience. It also works for trees and leaves, which is why I have some trees and leaves scattered around and the saplings. So here we can see it just harvested something. I'm not sure what. Let's find out. Ooh, it just harvested the node that was right here. So the pusher just pushed something into this chest, which already has some items in. Let me pull those out. So the next time it pushes something in, we will see what's going on. Unfortunately, with this method, you do have to manually replant your seeds. So it may not be the best system to employ for a field of crops because you do have to manually replant it. Um, same goes for the trees, you'll have to manually replant them, but because with a tree you plant one sapling and then you get, I don't have any normal trees around here, I just have these acacias, but you'll get, you know, a trunk and some leaves and all that good stuff. And actually, let's, uh, let's test this out quick. I want my apple leaves, here we go. Give me 10 of those and just harvested something else. When this runs, it, uh, in my experiences, at least I haven't looked at the code, it appears as if it is scanning a node and it takes four seconds regardless of whether it harvests that node or not. So if it were to go over this whole row, it would take four seconds each, so it'd be 20 seconds there and then another four there before it hits this. This one won't harvest, so we'll wait four seconds. And I think this will be up, and so we'll wait four seconds. And that's what the that's what the wiki said, four seconds. Okay, now it turns here. So we wait four seconds because this isn't fully grown. And then there we go, hits this. It'll go to the water and turn. So why don't we outpace this and plant a sapling there real quick just to just to see what happens. So there's nothing here, so it just ignores that, but it still takes the four seconds. It's kind of slow, but it's not really meant for you to just stand here and watch it. Like, a watched pot never boils. So why are you watching things? And we should see that this will be harvested whereas nothing else will. It takes so long. It's so slow. There we go, it worked, hooray! And then we'll go back through and manually plant our seeds. It's gonna take this row, it's gonna do that. It's gonna take it a long while to get to the trees over here. Uh, I've just got wheat. I had, <laughs> I don't know if it just doesn't pick up seeds at all, I haven't gotten any seeds from this. I've gotten plenty of wheat, but no seeds. It's a little concerning. I should, I should be getting seeds. That's rather worrisome because on a farm, if you don't have seeds, unless there's some mod that makes it possible to craft seeds from the wheat, you are in trouble. Ah. As you may have just noticed, it harvested the leaves that were above this. I'm not sure what height it goes to, 
but it did harvest those leaves. So actually, if you look in the chest here, we have three leaves that it has harvested. And when it gets to the next pass around, it'll take the whole tree out with it. But because I don't think we really want to wait for that to happen, we're just going to just gonna cheat here a little bit and grab these. I don't know why I'm doing this by hand when I have a perfectly good diamond pickaxe. That would have to be faster than by hand. I believe it's going to be coming around this way, but I'm not sure where it's at. So we'll just throw a few. Ah, there we go. All right, all right. Well, that's neat. I did not know that happened. This is obviously never going to grow because it's stone. Tree farmers everywhere rejoice. So whilst this may not be a, a great solution for your crops because it doesn't replant them, it looks like it's great for tree farms. Oh, here. It pulled this one down. I, oh, wait. No, did I put that? I put that sapling there. It's weird, though, because I don't remember planting saplings when I did these. I did a test run. By which I mean I just let this sit for a long while to let it, let it do its thing. All right. So it just took out the first. There goes the second. And it's not planting me trees there. Por que no? So we are going to do this. It'll also harvest these leaves. Why didn't it harvest these leaves? Huh? 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 I don't know why it didn't, honestly. Let's see what happens here. It is on stone, so it would never grow anyways. It did plant a sapling. So maybe if you just have... A row of three trees, it won't plant a sapling, but if there's not, I, I really don't understand. Why didn't I get a sampling planted there, but I did here? Either way, this proves its usefulness for tree farms. Um, and if you're wondering why you might want all of these leaves, um, that would be because to actually use this machine, you have to have biofuel. And uh, if I just look this up real quick without getting into any detail onto how it actually works, you use a, isn't it a fermentation chamber? Yeah, you ferment grass, uh, wow, you ferment leaves into biogas, and then you use a reformer to turn the gas into fuel, and then you use the fuel to power your different machines. So that is why you need the leaves, because that's how you make the fuel to run these things. And uh, that wraps this one up, actually. So check back next week for another video on how to automate things within my test. And I will see you then.